Think about something. Maybe an astronaut riding a horse in a photorealistic style. What if I told you that there's an artificial intelligence application that can make these ideas actually true? So, I think about an astronaut riding a horse in a photorealistic style. So the application is going to be showing me something like this. Or like this. Or like this. So how is this possible? This is possible to Dell E2. So what is Dell E? What does Dell E can offer us? So Dell E is an artificial system that can create realistic images and art from a description in a natural language. So yeah, it can create original realistic images and art from a task description. It can combine concepts, attributes, and styles. So if I say that I want to look for a teddy bear shopping for groceries in the nation Egypt, boom, it's done. It's going to be showing me bunch of images that's going to be filling with my description. So if these images are not real, if those don't exist, the artificial intelligence of the application is going to make it real. It's going to make it for you. Once again, a bowl of soup that is a portal to another dimension as a digital art. Here's an example. Here's another example of the same bowl of soup that is supposed to another dimension, but I want to see that drawn on a cave wall. Boom. And that's how the lead 2 works. So this app can add and remove elements while taking shadows, reflections, and textures into account. Let's take a look into this part of his website. So as you can see, we have one element. We have the element number 2. And we have element number 3. So as you can see, I have the original image in here. Uh, let's say that I want to have here some pelican. So I'm going to go into and add it in here. So the application is going to be added this one automatically. Or maybe in here, inside in here. It's going to look like this. So it, real, so it looks really, really real. And there's not just one style. I mean, if you like this option, if you like this uh, item, so if you kind of like this, like this lifesaver, I think I can choose another design. So it's going to be showing me a bunch of new stuff in here. There's always new stuff. This flamingo is actually looking so real. And not just that. The league can even take the original images and create different variations inspired by the original one. So take a look here, for example, this image. This is the original image, and this is the delete 2 variation. There's other variations in here also like this one and this one. Let's take a look for example at this one too. Now this is the variation for DALI number 2. So with this information, they're going to be able to make more variations only by using one image. And lastly, I'm going to show you this bird, the original image and the DALI variation. So take a look here at the variation. I can see two, I can see three birds, I can see two with different position. Take a look at the color palette, it's almost the same one. So, all the elements are inside the variation of DALI 2. DALI has learned the relationship between images and the text used to describe them. So, it uses a process called diffusion, which is taught with a pattern of random dots and gradually alters the pattern towards an image when it recognizes a specific aspect of that image. If you want to take a look at more how DALI 2 works, you can select this option that says how DALI works explained. So, when did this start? Actually, in January 2021, the OpenAI introduced DALL-E, and one year later, the DALL-E number 2. This one generates more realistic and accurate images with 4x greater resolution. So if you take an example in here, this is the DALL-E number 1 version. As you can see, this is the concept, and now this is the concept number 2. If you're looking for a painting of a fox sitting in a field at sunrise in the style of Claude Monet, here it is, my variation number 1 from DALL-E number 1. But now DALL-E number 2 is almost ready, and this is the new variation. It looks pretty cool, right? DALL-E 2 is preferred over DALL-E number 1 for its caption matching and photorealism when evaluators were asked to compare a thousand images generation from each model. So DALL-E number 2 has begun as a research project, it's now available in, into the beta mode. I'm gonna show you how to do that later. And you might be thinking, what if someone tries to generate something related to violin, hate, or maybe adult images? Well, they have preventing some harmful generations. They have curving monsieur. And just by removing the most explicit content for the training data, they minimize daily number two's exposure to that concept. So you don't have to be worried about that, just in case you have kids or you want to show that as an educational content. 
And of course, they are still on the learning phase of development. Learning from the real world is an important part of development and deploying AR responsibility. So they are being slowly added more users um, in beta from July 2022, so that was last month. So if you want to join the waitlist, what you guys want to do is to go into openai.com and go into Dell E2, which is actually this option right in here. And what I want to do is to scroll all the way down until I found the open AI and look for the about our section, which you can just go. What you guys want to do is to have the Dali number two open A. Once you are in here, you want to scroll a little bit down until you find the join waiting list. And it's gonna say enter your details to get on the waiting list for Dali access. So you have to fill in here your information, your email, your Twitter profile, just in case you have one. I strongly suggest you guys to use maybe an Instagram or LinkedIn pro Twitter profile so that you have more chances to be eligible for being into the waitlist and go into the beta access. For example, in my case, I'm a professional artist. I'm going to select my professional artist that best describes for me. I want to hit into I'm not a robot and I want to hit into get on the waitlist. Now it says you're on the waitlist. Thank you for joining the waitlist to create with Dali to ensure responsibility, use and great experiences will be sending in by gradually over time. So you might be considered to be inside the next month or maybe till next year. You can see this article from the Cornell University that speaks about that speaks about the image generation with clip Latins. So that's the way DALI 2 is working. So this is the research that sustained the DALI 2 application. If you want to get involved, you can go into how to get involved into this project and go into volunteer developments. As you can see, there are a bunch of technical infrastructure in here. I want to scroll a little bit down and they have the guidelines for contribution or you can contact next generation at arxiv.org for more information about contributing to this software development. Now the application and developers itself says that this document may contain visual and gritting content that some might find disturbing or offensive including content as sexual, hasful, violent in nature. This is like a risk and limitation information for the risk analysis of DALI system. If you want to take a look in here, you can go into the DALI.com application and once you are in here, you want to look for the content policy and you can go into the risk and limitations. I want to take a look here at all the policies that they have in here, for example. So now that we know what DALI 2 is, and now we're able to join the waitlist, we now see the content policy and the risk and limitations. We're now good to go with this amazing application that I'm totally sure that this is going to be blow up in the moment it's out there, whether that will be as a beta or as a public release. If you want to know more about this DALI 2 application AI, you can always go into openai.com. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully this was a very useful video for you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. It's been a major pleasure to inform you about this great, great application. And I will see you guys on the next one.